Hey everybody, this is Science Made Easier, and today I am going to show you how to find the empirical formula from a combustion reaction. So real quick, I'll define the two types of combustion reactions. So first you have your complete combustion reaction, and this is where the hydrocarbon is burned in plenty of oxygen. In a complete combustion, there are only two products, which are H2O and CO2. You also have your incomplete combustion reactions, and this is when your hydrocarbon is burned with limited amounts of oxygen. If this happens, you have toxic byproducts, so you end up getting other things on your product side, like carbon monoxide and carbon soot. In this video though, I will be focusing mainly on complete combustion reactions. So let's get started with the problem. So let's say you have this problem that says a 0 0.3200 gram sample of a compound known to contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen undergoes a complete combustion to produce 0 0.3215 grams of CO2 and 0 0.1432 grams of H2O. What is the empirical formula? So let's start with step one, which is to determine the grams of carbon in 0 0.3215 grams of CO2 and the grams of hydrogen in 0 0.1432 grams of H2O. So carbon is always in CO2 in, in the ratio of 12.011 over 44.0098. Hydrogen is always in H2O in the ratio of 2.0158 over 18.0152. This is simply the atomic weight of the element over the molecular weight of whatever it is in. So let's go ahead and find these for carbon and hydrogen. So for carbon, we have 0 0.3215 for hydrogen. We have 0 0.1432. Now we just multiply those by the ratios 12.011 over 44.0098. And then hydrogen is 2.0158 over 18.152. So for these values, you get 0 0.0877, and this is grams. And for this value, you get 0 0.0160 grams. So step two, find the grams in oxygen, find the grams of oxygen in the sample by subtraction. So to do this, we are going to subtract the amount in grams of hydrogen and carbon from the total mass of the sample. Since the compound we're finding only contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, you can do this. So you're just going to subtract your starting mass, and you're just going to subtract these two values, or just the product of these two. So let's do it. So 0 0.3200 minus the product of 0 0.0877 plus 0 0.0160. And that's going to leave you with a value of 0 0.2163 grams, and that's your grams of oxygen. So step three is to convert grams of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen to moles. So let's do that. So we're going to have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So we take the values we just got, so 0 0.0877, hydrogen is 0 0.0160, and oxygen is 0 0.2163. Now you divide all those by their atomic weights, so carbon is 12.011. Hydrogen is 1.0079, and oxygen is 15.9994. So we get for values 0 0.073, 0 
one five nine and zero point zero one three five. So now step four is to divide each molar amount by the lowest value. So you're trying to get whole numbers for the empirical formula. So in this instance, since your smallest value is oxygen, we're going to divide everything by oxygen. So we'll just do this right here. So divided by 0 0.0135 divided by 0 0.0135 divided by 0 0.0135. And that is going to leave you with five carbons, one hydrogen, and then oxygen divided by itself is just gonna be one. So now you have your formula, since you have your five hydrogens, uh, one hydrogen, five carbons, one oxygen. Your formula is going to be C5, H one O one. So that's it for this video. If it helped, please show support for my channel by leaving a like. Thanks guys.